Hi guys, it's me Pedro and welcome to another Pedro's Corner. Today I bring you another special, really special review for me. This is Barbie doll as Athena and she's a part of the same collection as Aphrodite and this collection also has another doll, Medusa, which we will make a review soon because Mikey bought her, <laughs> the only one missing from my collection. I have Athena and Aphrodite and Mikey has Medusa, it's his favorite. We'll make a review on her soon, but today we are making a review on Athena. She's my second favorite from the collection and it's a really special doll for me, uh, that's why I'm making... Um, that's why I'm making this uh, review in a Pedro's Corner. I already deboxed her because she was a pain to take out of the box because she was like stuck on everything so I thought I would take her out of the box first and then I will show you all the box details and uh, all the doll details but yeah. So this is her box, it has a picture of the doll on the front with a shield on the back and some fiery effects with a black background. And here it says Barbie doll as Athena, Barbie collector and gold label because she's a gold label doll. And on the back it says again Barbie doll as Athena and you have a little text about her that you can pause here if you want to read it. And on the bottom it says are more than 5300 made worldwide. Then you take this part off and it's all flames on the inside also and it has the box. Uh, it's like red background with some shiny effects and yeah, that that's the box of Athena. She was really pretty uh, inside of the box but I just couldn't handle it so I took her out. So here she is, she is amazing, I'm in love, I'm in love, I'm in love. The detail on this doll is mind-blowing. So I'm going to start uh, with her hair. She has black hair that you can see because this is not her hair. Uh, this red part, it's not her hair. It's those things that warriors wore on their helmets. I don't really know the name. Her hair is black and it's tied in a small ponytail here on the back. And she has a little fringe in a V shape. And she has this part uh, that's really, really long red hair with some black streaks also. And you have this um, plastic part that simulates hair so the hair can stay in this position that it's attached to this gold helmet uh, that has some details and some screwers. It's really detailed, it's amazing. She has amazing makeup, she has a really winged black eyeliner with red eyeshadow on the bottom part and on the top part and also some gold eyeshadow, some li a little touch of white and a little bit of brown white eyeshadow. Her eye makeup is really detailed, it's really intricate. She has lashes that are really really huge and are like to the sides which I think it gives her a really nice touch and her lips are a mix of colors she has red gold and brown her face up is amazing the base of her outfit it's this dress that's in the um, really rough material to look like the armature of the warriors the Greek warriors well was made it's a really simple dress it's fit on the top and really ruffle at the bottom and it's bigger on the back to make kind of a train and on the top of the dress you have this piece which is a neck piece that's made in gold with silver details and it has a little owl because in Greek mythology Athena is represent represented by uh, an owl uh, so she has an owl here made in silver with some uh, red gems making uh, his eyes uh, and this uh, color piece has some little chains that attach to the dress and she has this uh, breast piece that's also made in gold and silver and it's lo a lot of uh, details and a little owl on the middle too. Her left arm it's not um, an arm, a real arm, a real Barbie arm, it's the armature eats her arm uh, but she has articulation on the shoulder, elbow and hands and the armature arm it's the same colors as the rest of the armature it has another owl here in silver 
it's all gold and silver and it has a lot of details. She also has a shield on her left hand that has the face of Medusa, the other doll from the collection, because in Greek mythology Athena gave the shield to Hercules to kill Medusa, so this is the shield. And it's it has the picture of Medusa, it's all gold, some silver screwers, and it says Athena here in gold and it has a black background. She also has a little chain belt on her dress and on the other hand she has a spear, a really big spear with that is all silver and it has black and gold details. On the back she has a really huge cape that makes a gradient from white to red. It's amazing, it's really pretty and it's a really soft material and this cape is tied to her neck piece with little ties. Last but not least, her boots. She has no legs, the boots are, are her legs because uh, to make the armature look really close to the body they didn't make a body underneath Yes, yeah, so these are the boots, these boots are amazing, are, are up to her knee and are gold with some silver details and red gems. She has a little rubber band on her foot because she's really heavy because of the armature, so she kind of fell from the stand so, I, so she can be with a better pose. She also comes with a certificate of authenticity that certifies that my doll is original from Mattel. That's it for Athena. I'm super happy for having this doll. She was the number one on my wish list. Well, Aphrodite was my first one, but now that I have her, this was my second one, and now I have her. I'm super happy. She's amazing. I recommend this collection to everyone. So I hope you like this review, guys. Don't forget to share, comment, and subscribe. Go see our new Instagram page and Facebook page and see you next time. Bye guys, bye!